Hi, you simple life lovers. Welcome. I'm Miss Rita and this is a life lead simply. Today is another one of my how to simplify your life videos. So it's part of the simplify your life series and I hope you're going to enjoy it just as much as I did when I made it. Today I'm discussing something that I feel very, very passionately about and it's something that we've been implementing in our own lives to great success and that is meal planning. So we started to meal plan because we had to come out with only one income um, because of various reasons. If you want to know more about that, then please go read it on the blog. The link is at the bottom. But we had to stretch our money that little bit further. So that was the first reason. And the second reason was I was just so overwhelmed and overworked. I was doing two or three jobs at the same time. So there was no time to think about things. So I had to automate certain things in my life just so that I can get clarity and permission to focus on the more important things. So meal planning was the biggest change that we could implement to help in both of these factors or, or to help with our life. Now, when you meal plan, people have this misconception that it takes a lot of time and it's, it's lots of groundwork that you need to put in. And it's not. If you sit in the morning and you decide what you're going to make for dinner, then you've meal planned. We're now just looking at it on a much larger scale. So you might be wondering how we do it. Let me run you through the process. Firstly, you don't go and buy things to meal plan. So if you want to start meal planning, you can start right now at this moment by following my easy steps. Number one is open your fridge and see what's inside. Now this includes ingredients that, you know, raw ingredients. So fresh fruits and vegetables, cheese, cream, butter, um, anything like that. It also includes leftovers. And it also includes parts of meals. So maybe you made stock and you've got the stock in the fridge. Or you've already boiled potatoes and they're in the fridge. Anything like that. Okay, so you first consider what's in your fridge. Then you consider what's in your freezer. Again, that includes raw ingredients. So meat or frozen vegetables, anything like that. It also includes leftovers. Maybe you made a batch of soup. A while back and you froze the leftovers or the, the extra portions and it also includes parts of meals that have already been prepped so you've boiled potatoes and you've frozen them for chips anything like that so first fridge then freezer then thirdly consider what's in your pantry that includes canned goods uh, sauces soup packets spices anything like that that you usually find in your pantry so you take those three things that you've made now a list of anything that's to your disposal and then you take the specials of the week from your major retailers. So wherever you normally shop, you take their special catalog or, or pages and you see what is on special. Now with these four lists in mind, you then go and work out what you want to eat for this whatever period of time you're looking at. So we work from week to week. So I will then plan the meals for the week. And I will take into consideration first what is in my fridge because those are things that I need to use up before they go off. Then what is in my freezer because again, you need to use stuff up before they reach the expiration date. You can't keep it frozen forever. And then what is in the pantry. Whatever holes are then left, I fill up with whatever is on special at my major retailer. I don't shop around. I've got two places that I go to. If I can't find it at the one of the two places, then we go without. The reason for that is it takes too much petrol and time to drive up and down, up and down. And then you kind of defeat the purpose of this whole exercise of saving money, saving time, saving energy. So after you've done that and you've worked out your menu, you now have a list of recipes or ideas that you're going to use for the week. You then make your shopping list, anything that you want or that you need for, for the recipes that you don't have in the house. So you make your shopping list and you go and do the shopping. Part of this process is also identifying things that you can rather make than buy. 
for example, if you need stock for a soup, make the stock. If you need tomato sauce for a gravy, then make the tomato sauce. So as far as possible, make things instead of buying them. There's a huge cost saving associated with that. And also, the satisfaction of knowing that whatever your family is eating, you made yourself. How awesome is that? So, for the meal planning, I try and meal prep once a week, usually on a Sunday, and that's where I make my batch cooking, my stocks and sauces, etc. This also enables me to use everything so we don't waste. If I have to peel and cut vegetables, all of those peelings are left or are stored separately, either to make a sauce or to make a stock or to go to the compost bin. So nothing is going to the rubbish bin and to the landfill. It also enables you to add extra nutrients where your family won't notice. So if you make pureed pumpkin and you add those frozen blocks of pureed pumpkin to all your stews and, and sauces and soups, they get that added nutrients without them even noticing. In actual fact, it makes whatever you're making just so much better and sweeter. So if you meal prep, you then enable yourself to do all of these things while also having all the cost savings because it costs money to buy packets of stock and soups and sauces. You pay for the packaging, you pay for the individual units, so you might as well make it yourself and get the, sa the savings. If you are interested in starting meal planning, then please comment for me below. You can also go to my blog and sign up for my meal planning newsletter where you will get my weekly email on a Friday where I give you my menu for the following week with a shopping list, pantry list, as well as the meal prep list and all the relevant recipes. That then gives you time on the Saturday to buy whatever you need and meal prep on a Sunday so that from the Monday you've got nutritious, fast meals that your family will love and that your pocket will also love. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media. All the links are below as well as in the banner. And leave me a comment. Thank you. See you next week.